Most everybody knows that the Cincinnati Zoo is officially the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens. But what you might not have seen is that we have a big nursery area in our back parking lot with all kinds of plants because the garden doesn't just take care of itself. There's a staff and there's volunteers and they do amazing things. I'm with Scott Berline, who's one of our horticulturalists, and he's here to tell a little bit about the most amazing program, Plants for Pollinators. The zoo's best plants for pollinators. Yeah. So, Tell a bit about that, because I guess people go to nurseries and they're looking for things, yeah. but th these are ones we've almost certified, right? Exactly. This came out of our, um, our Zoo's Best Trialing Program over okay. the last 12 to 25 years, depending on how you count. Uh, so we've been trialing plants for a long time to determine which ones perform really well yeah, here. Yeah. And um, about a year ago, we kind of started working on a program where we wanted to pull out the ones that are best for pollinators yeah. and make those available to gardeners and landscapers in the region. So we have two local growers on board, one mm -hmm. for perennials, one for annuals, yeah. and a lot of local retail garden centers, independent garden centers that are uh, that have these available yeah. on shelves right now. I know, I've seen them out there and with, with yeah. a little logo and, and really describing it, it does a couple of things. One, it sort of verifies this is one that will grow well in our area. Because yes. many people are like me, you know, they, they want to plant it and make it look better, but may they not know all the different details. Um, and I guess these are native plants, so it's good for native animals. About half of them are native. Okay. But the other half that are exotics are still good for pollinators. Okay. So, uh, so how about salvia? Is that an salvia, exotic plant? This particular salvia is an exotic. Okay. But it, uh, it is a favorite of a lot of oh different pollinators. Oh my gosh, yeah, in my yard, I'll tell uh, you, insects. hummingbirds love salvia. They really do. Mm -hmm. In the pollinating program, you know, zoo's best plants for pollinators, about how many varieties do we have? 63 perennials and 40 some annuals. All right, so you these... can collect them all at home. That's amazing. Yeah, and it's really good to have pollinators come to your yard. First of all, it's fun. Yeah. It's also very beneficial to the environment mm -hmm. in that a lot of these pollinating insects are also predators or parasitizers of pest insects. So they create a better balanced ecosystem in your yard. Yeah. And that's very beneficial. So you don't have to spray so much. You don't have to deal with issues so much. So Scott, if folks at home want to get these, how can they learn how to? Uh, uh, there's about 20 retailers in the area right now that are offering these, and they, those retailers can be found on the zoo's website. Okay, CincinnatiZoo.org. And um, a percentage, percentage of all the sales goes to the zoo to support our trials program. It's a win-win because the plants are incredibly pretty for us. People love flowers, of course, but it's also good for native wildlife. So, Scott, thanks for doing all this. and. You can look for these at a garden center near you and have a garden that looks like the one here at the zoo.